Hey guys, welcome to day four streaming Stardew Valley and I'm still streaming Stardew Valley because I'm still working out uh, many technical issues with live streaming and Stardew Valley is a no pressure game and it's something that I just want to sort of, uh, well, it's easy to jump into, stream for a while, get into the habit of streaming and getting all that stuff done while working out on the technical issues. Now, um, if you didn't see my announcement, uh, which was a little bit earlier, uh, I'm working on the lip sync issue and I've currently disabled everything possible. I've, I'm trying every single measure. So hopefully the lip syncing issue is not too bad. But we're in summer in Stardew Valley and I'm excited. And I also remembered I didn't plant my melon seeds, <laughs> which is... Um, uh, bad, but it's only day two of summer. We'll get to that straight away. And also I've seen some tips from you guys. And also today I want to be starting to build our first buildings. And people have been telling me to build a silo before I build a chicken coop because of hay, because that's how they get fed. I don't understand it exactly, but uh, we'll see how it all goes. And also I got a tip on how to use the copper watering can properly. I didn't know that it didn't quite work the way I thought it worked, uh, but never mind. Let's uh, just double check our inventory. We also got to check our... Actually, let's, uh, let's jump into the game first because it gets the music started and we'll just check the TV. Fortune teller. Uh-huh. The spirits are very happy today. Fantastic. Uh, so let's step out in onto our farm. Ah, it's summer. Now, um, what did I want to do? I wanted to check the community center, right. We have to do the summer crops bundle. And also there's a quality crops bundle, which is the melons and the corn. So if we can get five golden melons and five golden corn, that would be very, very good. Uh, and also, uh, Kan Fu U asking, why don't I stream on Twitch? Well, it's because uh, I have no following on Twitch. I might go there eventually, but not quite yet. Now, mixed seeds. Do mixed seeds work? in the summer? They might. Do I need anything else? I don't think I need any of that stuff. Okay, so uh, let's get the melon seeds planted. I have nine of them. So first things first, I want to go to crafting and craft basic fertilizer, which I need nine of. So I need to go chop down one more tree. All right. Also, someone suggested that I clear out all this junk on my farmland to because it will encourage new things to spawn. And I didn't know that's how it actually worked, but I guess it does. Alright, so let's uh, craft one more basic fertilizer. So we got nine of those. And we need to put that there. And we can place the nine melon seeds right here. There we go. Fantastic. Now, when it comes to the watering can, this is how you're supposed to use the copper watering can. You click and hold and it waters three tiles, which is fantastic. Look at that. It does actually save so much time, especially on these, uh, these trellis, the permanent sort of planted things, because they're rows of six. That's going to be Fantastic. I can water this stuff so quickly. Now, I'm sure if I upgrade the watering can even more, it would water maybe four tiles. Maybe it'll water two rows in front of me. But this should actually work out fine for now. Because look at that. We can get through this no problem. And it makes that weird noise as well. I'm not sure why it makes that noise. Uh, there we go. Crops are watered. That was easy. I'm going to leave that sprinkler there because it's not too important. Uh, and also, we should do that. And we'll have a talk to Callie. So, it's 9am, things are open. What should I be doing? Uh, I need to start building stuff. But it is a Tuesday, and I know on Tuesday, Robin goes to uh, her yoga class or something. But I want to keep all the wood and stone on me because what's this again speed grow 
No, I don't think I need any of this. I have a potato, a cauliflower. I'm just keeping the spring things because. But I do know I need more wood. So let's go ahead and chop down a few more trees while I'm here. Things are getting a little crowded down here. Maybe I should start clearing some stuff off. Alright, so how much wood do I need? I think I need 300, which is quite a lot. I also need a bit more money, because I think the coop is 4,000 gold. I should clear out some of this grass as well. And I could just sort of grab those as well. Alright, so if there are any problems with the stream, do just let me know. I know it's not going to be perfect, and I know the lip syncing might not be perfect either, but... I want to know if it's at least... if it starts going wo getting worse over time, then let me know. Alright, how much wood do I have now? I have just about 300. Fantastic. So, we can now... Oh, so someone told me not to sell all these tree seeds and pine cones and stuff because of this the field snack are these really good i'm not sure i should build some other stuff cobblestone path might be nice takes one stone we'll see if we need to do that but uh do we want to boost how much how many crops we have i might want to put down another bit like over here or something uh, let me grab the pickaxe, because we can use the pickaxe to get rid of this. It'll eventually disappear by itself, but... Just to keep things clean. Now, I could buy more crops, or I could save for... Uh, I could save for the coop, which might be more important, honestly speaking. So let's head into town and see if we can find anything new. Now, oh, I remember there's a stall. Uh, Buster Calico Desert still out of service. There's a stall near the, the museum and the blacksmith. And it's said that it would only open in the summer. So I would like to check that out. So let's head down there first. And I think I have a few things for the community center as well. Some of these wild forageables. I love how the game changes so much when you go to a new season. Alright, this says it's supposed to open... Are you manning the stall? Sells ice cream. Plus 100 energy and 40 health. That's pretty good, actually. Hmm. Now let's just drop by here. We should actually just go talk to, to everyone. Now it's a new season. Oh, that's a fisherman book. Alright, so now let's, uh, let's drop by... Well, let's actually go do some foraging. Because uh, there's a few things that the community center needs. Actually, my inventory is full. I should have cleared it out a bit. Is there anything I can eat? I forgot to plant the mixed seeds. And why do I still have dandelions and leeks? I'm not too sure. Oh well, let's drop by the community center. I do have a couple things. So, one guy did make this game. So, <laughs> keep in mind, he had to redesign all the trees, all the flowers, all the buildings to look summer, and then look fall, and then look winter. Alright, let's see what we can place here. Is it... Uh, what actually goes into this one? The crafts room? Summer foraging bundle. Yes, I have a sweet pea. And we also need grape and spice berry. Haven't seen those yet. Is that all I have? I have a sunfish. Yeah, that's all I have. 
so I think I, I should be able to build a silo, but I gotta wait for Robin to come back home. Um, actually, I don't know what a silo requires. I guess we could just do some, some mining while we're out here. We have a field snack, which is quite useful actually. We'll pop by the mine, and then on the way home, we'll, we'll come back a bit earlier and drop by Robin's place. I'm still curious about that. There's like purple rocks in the, the wall there. Now, can we still not break this? No. Copper pickaxe, not good enough. Let's do this. Now, I also want to get some copper while I'm down here. So we'll see if we can find any. Come on, die. All right. Uh, any copper? Maybe I shouldn't be coming down so far because down here we start to deal with bees. <laughs> That's actually... I'm not trying to get to the, the lowest level yet. Let's... Let's go to five. These things are pretty tough though. Uh, let's just go ahead and... Eat that. Is it really effective? It's not bad. Ah, uh, these slimes are... I don't know if they always slowed you down like that. Alright, my inventory is full. Let's just get rid of that. The sword is upgradable? Uh, I don't think the sword is upgradable. I think there are like new... new swords and stuff. I don't know how much copper I have. I think I need copper for the silo. That's a geode. Um, let's uh... What can we... let's get rid of the maple seed. There we go. Hmm. I guess it's not a very fruitful expedition this time. <laughs> because it's already time to go see Robin. Because I think she's back by 5 p.m. Now there is a constant sound of bees, which is a little unsettling. And no? No Robin? No Robin? Is she on her way back? I'm sure they should be done by this time. Oh well, I guess I'll have to catch her tomorrow. Cause uh... They usually hang out at Pierre's, right? It looks like they finished. I saw... what's the name? Marley. Going home just now. There's uh, Robin's husband. Ah, there she is. She is on her way back. All right, let's see if you open up shop, because I need to know uh, how much a silo costs and what it costs. I think it costs copper. I kind of looked it up before. Now, please go man your stall. Hey, is that the axe we found for her? One of Robin's axes. Does she not man the stall at this time? 
I guess not. She goes straight to bed. Um, I'm actually trapped here. <laughs> okay. Alright, I guess Robin does not open up shop on Tuesdays at all. I thought she did. It's okay. Now we still need a couple more forageables, but I'm not sure if they're available straight away. It might be maybe halfway through summer, like the salmon berries. Maybe the grapes will show up then. This is a little... There we go. So we'll just head on over to tomorrow. Uh, wait, no, not yet. Let's, uh, let's sell things and clear our inventory. Forgot about that. Now, how much copper do we have? 25. That's not a lot. And we also don't have any coal. Hmm. Alright, let's sell what we don't need first. Uh, the sunfish. Bug meat. Slime. The rest is kind of useful. So we'll store it away. Oh yeah, plant the seeds. Thank you for reminding me. I'm gonna store that, store that, store that. Uh, store that, store that. Yeah, and we have to plant these seeds. Because I actually have one plot of land. Um, ah, we don't need to fertilize it, just put it down. And it's already been watered, right? Okay, good. Farm's looking nice. Let's head to the next day. Wait, what's that? What was that? What was that noise? That was a little disconcerting. There was an earthquake during the night. Did it destroy my crops? I didn't know natural disasters happened. Fortune teller. Neutral today, okay. Did that affect anything? My crops are okay. Let's get them watered. Oh, these are coming along quite nicely, though. Oh, this copper watering can. Now that I know how to use the copper watering can, it's so much better. Perfect. Now, we could always... Oh, there's a letter. Gibberzak, this is embarrassing. I lost my lucky purple shorts. I'm telling you because I think I can trust you. Because if you find them, bring them back to me discreetly. I'll pay well. Mayor Lewis has lost his... What sounds like sexy underwear, but... <laughs> uh, I'm not too sure why he, he's so concerned about it. But where would we find lucky purple shorts? I'm really not too sure. Were these rocks always there? I don't think so. We should actually go around clearing this stuff up. Because it seems things do spawn back over time. You can see here it's starting to, to creep back up. Okay, so. Uh, what did I want to do? I wanted to go to... Maybe the rocks near the caves? Hmm. Uh, oh, there's something. I think that's a new thing. Spiceberry, yes. Hey, there's a couple of them. One of those is going in the community center. The music gets really exciting in, uh, in the summer. Alright, we'll drop by the community center and then we'll drop by Robin's place. Alright, let's drop off uh, the spice berry. Uh, summer foraging bundle, spice berry. There we go. And the last one was a grape, right? 
And what's actually in this one, I think? Was this the... Oh, the summer crops, right. And the quality crops. Okay. The earthquake opening a passage there. Hey, that, that's a good idea. Let's, uh, because if we look at the map, there's actually a few areas that we still haven't explored. The forests over here, this deserty area, that, I don't know, looks like a train station, and then there's this thing. Good idea, we should go check that out. Is that forageable? No. Alright, so let's find out what's actually required for a silo, and I'll also double check what's required for the coop. Alright, uh, construct farm buildings. Uh, the coop costs 4,000, but I actually have enough resources. So that's gonna be good. Um, wait. Can't I... How do I build other things? Oh, there's a lot of stuff here. Calendar. Can be placed inside... Oh, this is the calendar. Someone mentioned before that you could buy a calendar and put it in your house, but he mentioned it was in Pierre's. It's not, it's Robin's. I don't think I've actually... I should check the... Wooden stone is actually quite cheap. But, um... Oh, okay, that, that, that's where we scroll. Okay, slime hutch. Okay, barn, well, silo. 100 gold, 100 stone, 10 clay, 5 copper bars. Okay. I think I have 10 clay at home, but I need to get 5 copper bars. I think I got 25 copper, which means I just need... Uh, 5 pieces of coal. Which we can... Hey, those are grapes. Fantastic. So, the summer foraging bundle is complete. Now, nothing's changed here. And I don't see any purple shorts either. And it, it's actually hard to... It's gonna be hard to spot purple shorts because... What is that? Hmm. So nothing's changed here. That earthquake must have meant something. But what could it have mean? What, what could it mean? Um... Maybe someone will tell me. Now I don't actually have to go into the mines to get coal. There's actually plenty of rocks on my farm, which I can go ahead and start digging up. Hey, here we go. This has opened. The railroad. Was it an earthquake or was it just a really loud train or something? A bathhouse? Um... Hmm. While we're here, we, we'll just break the rocks open. Who knows, we'll get a bit of coal. There's an actual railroad here. Where does it lead to, though? And this is the... The station, I guess? Now, actually, I remember there was a crafting thing. We could... Not the furnace. There's a mayonnaise machine. The charcoal kiln. That takes a gold bar. I don't know how to get a gold bar. That seems rather difficult. But being able to manufacture charcoal is going to be very useful. Uh, well, let's check out this bathhouse. No trains yet, but... Woman, male? I guess we go in here? It seems like it's still sort of being restored. I don't know how it's supposed to use this, though. What is a Gym equipment. You're too weak to lift it. <laughs> oh, someone's asking, where am I from? I'm from Malaysia. Now, can we actually go into... That's the woman's locker room. You can't go in there, okay. Alright. New area opened up, but uh, can't do anything there quite yet. Now, does the... Uh, 
does the blacksmith actually sell gold ore? Because investing in a charcoal kiln might actually be very, very good. I don't think he sells gold ore, but I, I should check. I haven't stepped into Joja Mart either. Nothing new. All looks the same. They might have new produce. I don't know. Oh, I have a geode as well. Hey, Captain Shax here! The XP Gamers! If you haven't seen the XP Gamers, go check them out. Um, a very good channel. He much more prolific than I am. <laughs> Let's see, process geodes. Uh, yes, I do have one. Five copper ore, perfect. Needed that. Now, do you sell gold ore? It's 400 each. I could just go ahead and buy some coal though. I'm buying five coal. We'll just get that done. Now, if you didn't know, uh, Captain Shack at the XP Gamers has actually gi given me a lot of good advice. And he's one of the few YouTube connections I I've come across that actually likes helping people out. And well, helping me out anyway. Uh, how's this game? I love this game. If you like, uh, like farming games or Harvest Moon or anything like that, you will love this game because this game is like Harvest Moon but more RPG. It's uh, it's it's got more stuff to do. The charcoal furnace gives me one charcoal for twenty wood. That's still worth it. I mean, finding charcoal is very difficult. I'd I'd like a reliable way of doing it. Uh, but for now, let's uh, grab the copper ore. And we're gonna go ahead and smelt some of this stuff. Uh, there we go. And we also have golden spice berries. We got grapes. There's a chunk. What is that noise? That tapping noise. Oh, it's a woodpecker. And did I not? There we go. All right, so we need like more money and crops are gonna take a while. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut wood and sell wood. Cause we just need 300, I think. And we need a hundred stone for, uh, we need a hundred stone for the silo and we need a hundred stone for, oh, I hate it when that happens. Uh, and we also need a hundred stone for the coop. Let's put this back down. There we go. And I'll leave the, the stumps in the ground. Because I'd like them to grow back. More crops, yeah. I'd, I'd like to get more crops, but... Uh, crops take a while. <laughs> And uh, I need sort of money now. Some of this could do with some clearing up anyway. Uh, let's uh, break that and chop this down. Alright, I can't remember how much wood actually is worth, but... I need 4,000 gold total, which is gonna... it's quite a bit more than we have right now. It's easier to get there once you have crops going. That should be pretty good. Let's sell 
A hundred wood. I don't know, how do you split a stack? Um, I'm not sure. Can you split a stack? Oh, you can do that. Okay. If you right click and hold, you can... Uh, <laughs> this is a little awkward, but... <laughs> There we go. And we'll also sell... Oh, just sell these things. We need the money. Uh, what else can we sell? Sell the clam. We need the money. Uh, sell those. I'll keep the stone. Stone's a little... I don't know. Stone is not that hard to come across. We'll sell some stone. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, I'll keep the fertilizer. Yeah, that all looks okay. I don't think I can sell any of this. I'm keeping some of these things. Oh, we do need to keep the clay on us. Though. We needed 10 clay, I think it was. Do I want to sell any of this? I could sell the coral. Oh, right, the coral. We could... Uh, Drop by the beach. The beach on the, the right side has uh, all that coral and it's worth quite a bit actually. Let, let's go some do some proper foraging. Now that constant sound of bees is actually quite... Uh, because there's bees in the cave, so it keeps reminding me that like we might be attacked at any moment. All right, it's not too late. We can, uh, we got time. Oh, there's some something to dig up. A trilobite? What is this? Cockles? Hey, people actually come to the beach now. I guess because it's summer. And a book? Yes. Found a lost book. Fantastic. We can sell that as well. Anything else to grab? Oh, yeah. Hey, is that? Who is that? Is that? Leah! Leah comes to the beach? This morning I ac accidentally stepped on a bug. Now, since you like the beach, maybe you would like some shells. Uh, put this here. Do you like shells or do you just like flowers and stuff? Thank you. Okay, maybe she likes flowers more. My inventory is pretty full now, actually. Can I just eat something? I'm gonna eat the spice berry. Uh, let's put that here. Yeah. All right, let's go see what we can grab from over here. Anything? There's a few things. Not that much. Bit of coral. What's that? We can grab that. Um, I'm gonna have to clear something. What can I get rid of? Sweet pea? I should really clear my inventory a bit more. I shouldn't be bringing all this stuff around with me. Let's just get rid of the sweet pea. We'll find more of that stuff. Actually, let's be a bit more efficient about this. And eat it. Oh, it doesn't give any energy. Oh well, eat it anyway. <laughs> let's grab this. A rainbow shell. It's a very beautiful shell. I should keep that to give to someone because this seems like it's... I should have... Well, I couldn't have predicted that. Oh well. I'm gonna keep the rainbow shell on me. But I'll sell the rest of this stuff. I was hoping for more coral, but that's how it works. Oh, a cinematic. It's, uh, what's his name? Linus. He's... He's rummaging through people's trash?
Ah, you turned up at the right moment, son. Could you do an old man a favor? Could you go around the corner and scare off those raccoons for me? They've been causing a real mess. Thanks. Make sure you give them a good scare so they never come back. Hello? <laughs> um, it was me. I'm sorry. Linus. I find a lot of hot, fresh food in these cans. Stuff that will go to waste if I don't take it. Do you think there's something wrong with what I'm doing? Yes, it's disgusting. <laughs> well, you're kind of homeless. That's illegal. That's... I suppose it is... Kind of? But, I don't know. You should get a job and stop leeching off others. It's a shame for food to go to waste. I mean... More and more t in today's societies, the food wastage thing is kind of bad. And they're, they're starting to sort of give the leftover food to the poor and stuff, which is good. Yeah, it's a shame for food to go to waste. Thanks. I knew you were an open-minded person. I'm always wary when people use the term open-minded. Because quite often people say, oh, when they say open-minded, they mean agreeing with me. You gotta be careful about that. I feel good about what I'm doing... I'm not harming anyone. It's true. You can go on home. I promise I won't rummage in George's can anymore. You can tell him you scared off the raccoons for good. And he goes to the Star Drop Saloon's cans. Wait. Gus, oh, how is he gonna take it? I know what you were doing, Linus. Come on, don't be so ambiguous. If you need food, just ask. I don't want anyone in Pelican Town to go hungry. Ah, oh, Gus is nice. Yeah, I've got a basket of zucchini fritters for you. Just make sure you dip them in my spicy marinara. Go on, take it. Alright then. Now, that gives me an idea or perhaps maybe I can can I rummage through trash as well wait what um I can't empty my inventory Abigail um do I have a I should just start giving gifts to people do you like this okay she was at this grave Mona is that her mom? This is what I love about Stardew Valley. The, the more you play, the more little things you see about the people around you. Now, I wonder... Was that...? I don't know what that's doing. I'm just sort of clicking on the cans. Maybe it's because my inventory's full? Maybe? But let's go home. It's been two days. We gotta take a break. Once I sell all this stuff anyway. Now, getting another 2,000 gold is gonna be a little tricky. But let's sell that. Let's sell that. Uh, let's sell that. Sell those. Sell that. I'm keeping the rainbow shell, but I'll sell the green algae. And the trilobite is an artifact which can go into the the museum. Let's grab that. How many copper bars? Three? We'll put one more in. And uh, that should be it for the day. Let's head back home. Alright, so that's been a good two days and... Uh, yeah, it's good. We got a cinematic. We're, we're starting to discover new things. Um, Abigail, apparently Mona might be her mom. Uh, well, you know, she, well, she was at the gravestone, so. And Linus, rummaging through trash. I might want to try that tomorrow night. But for now, let's take a break. I will be right back. <laughs> 